Alright, number 10. Which alcohol would initially produce the most stable carbocation when treated? with concentrated H2SO4. So if it can form a carbocation, obviously this is an E1 elimination. It's an E1 mechanism, uh, which means that <clears throat> the, OH, the H2O departs in the polar solvent H2SO4 after protonation. So if you have concentrated H2SO4, you can get an, an E1 <clears throat> elimination. Let me just see something. E1. Hmm. Well, it says, what is the base nucleophile? Because you can have E1 or E2 here. There's, I think there's a couple different things. You can get E2, E1, but they're talking about E1 here. Sorry, that was amusing. So, um... Here are our alcohols. So if this got protonated and left, you would be left with a second degree carbocation. If this OH group got protonated and left, you would have a first degree carbocation. If this hydroxyl group got protonated and left, you would have a first degree carbocation. If this alcohol got protonated and left, you would have a first degree carbocation. And if this alcohol got protonated and left, you would have a third degree carbocation. Third degree carbocation is the most stable. So that's the answer.